Hey ladies, I just wanted to share with you my very first face mask that I've ever tried. Um, and it was the Avocado and Oatmeal Clay Mask by Freeman Feeling Beautiful. Here's a close up. I've had it for a couple months now. And um, I must say I'm very impressed. It's the very first, again, very first face mask I've ever tried. Um, I wanted to try it because honestly, I've seen a lot of women all over the place on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, trying different face masks. And I've, I've seen funny memes of the women, you know, unable to peel it off. I was actually trying to go for a peel um, because I've noticed lately I've been getting a lot of like pimples here and there. I used to didn't get pimples. You know, I was the teenager back in the day with hanging out with all the friends that never broke out. And, and now that I'm getting older, it's it's coming for me so i decided to try the face mask sure did it was not much at all i think it was like three or four bucks um so very affordable it makes my face really smooth definitely love that um since i've been using it for the last couple of months my face is so smooth like baby soft baby ass smooth okay <laughs> um i live here in colorado so the climate is really high here and I have very, very dry skin. I had a couple pimples. They weren't real big. They, you know, you, you know how you get those pimples where they're about to show up and you know they don't get big if you wait too long to take care of it. <laughs> so I I usually do like the apple cider, apple cider vinegar regimen, which honestly I found to be very effective as well. I'll make another video on that later. Um, but again, I wanted to try something different. So I tried the face mask. I literally, I put it on and I wait for about like five, no, I leave it on for like 15 minutes actually, which I know is probably too long because it, it says on here to leave it on for, it doesn't say actually, it just says let it dry and rinse with warm water. So I left mine on for about 15 minutes, okay? Leave it on, however, just let it dry. So... I left it on for about 15 minutes. I washed it off with warm water. It's not the peel off kind. It's not the kind that you peel off, which I was trying to purchase the kind to peel off, but this ended up being the kind that you just wipe off, which I'm actually totally fine with because watching these videos of different YouTubers and women trying to peel the face mask off. <laughs> no, thank you. I think I'll pass. <laughs> so, um, you know what I'm gonna do actually? Instead of just talking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it for you. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this face mask so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. I, I, can, I use my fingers most of the time, but for the sake of the video, I'll use a witch today. So. So I'm starting out using an application wedge. Um, I didn't really like how it was making it look blotchy. You know, I was kind of looking for more of a smoother looking mask. So you'll notice I start using my fingers here. And wait. Now I cannot move my face. It's very hard and almost itchy. Like as you can see, let me zoom in for you. Mm, 
fix this chat? Okay. Let you see. It's starting to crack because I, I, like, I can't even move here. But it, it feels very, very tight. And I know it's time to wash it off. So let's wash this, this bad boy off. All right, ladies, I'm back. And I must say my face, it feels absolutely amazing. I don't have the perfect skin. Um, and, you know, I still got some white blotches and stuff that I'm trying to get rid of. So I just wanted to also show you guys what I use that I just recently bought. And I've seen amazing results as well is the Shea Moisture. I can't ever say it right. Shea Moisture 100% Raw Shea Butter. Ultra healing all over hydration. And this title does not lie. I love this stuff. Um, to be honest with you, I recently lost a bunch of weight. Um, I went from like 210 to 155 over a course of about a year and a half. And I did not exercise at all. A whole nother video we'll save for another time. But long story short, Shea Butter also helps get rid of stretch marks. So I've been using this lately as well for that. But I love the, to use just a tiny bit on my face. You know, again, I'm in a really high altitude. And it's so dry out here. And so just a little goes a long way. Like, see, I'm, it's already super greasy. But just a little bit goes a long way and it feels so good. Put some on them chat lips too. But just a little goes such a long way. So now again, my skin is so smooth. I love it. If you guys wanna try this yourself, I highly recommend it. Um, I didn't mention this before, there's no parabens. Um, yeah, try it ladies. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. All right, thanks for watching.